Hey there, gang. Oh, my radar meteorologist, Matt Capucci. I've not been this excited in years. The total solar eclipse is one week from today. The path of totality stretches from West Texas all the way to Northern Maine and hits Dallas, Fort Worth, Little Rock, Indianapolis, Cleveland, Buffalo, and Burlington, Vermont. If you want to see a once in a lifetime show, you have to be inside that path of totality. Otherwise, you'll see only a partial solar eclipse. No corona, no darkness, no totality. You won't even be able to take off your glasses. Now, take this, please, as a personal plea. I am begging you. If you live within a day of the path of totality and can get there, do it. These things only happen once every 375 years at a given location on average, and it's going to be enough to make you cry, trust me. These things are so life-changing that I'm forcing my father, Mr. Ray of Sunshine, who just flat out doesn't travel, to get on an airplane for the first time in years and meet me down in San Antonio. So far, I've seen three total solar eclipses. One was rained out, two were good. This was my shot from 2019 down in Vicuña, Chile. We actually watched it from a mountaintop in the desert. And then y'all remember the last one in 2017. I wasn't quite as good at taking pictures, but again, here was my shot, had a brand new camera, and you see those three weird spiky things stretching into space. This time around, I'm renting a 600 millimeter camera lens, so I'll be able to see the really fine details in the corona. If you haven't already, follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. I'll post all my photos right after the eclipse. And more importantly, go to myradar.com slash eclipse for everything you could possibly ever want to know. The science, the daily videos. Today marks the start of our Eclipse Week. Every day until the eclipse, we'll have a new educational video, followed by a live stream on the Eclipse Day itself next Monday, April 8th. If you like this video and want to see more like it, click on the like button. It really helps us out a lot. And of course, if you are not subscribed to the channel, subscribe. It's totally free. Click on that notification bell, that way you always know whenever we drop a new video or whenever we go live. So jumping right in, we know the basics. A solar eclipse happens when the moon blocks the sun. It passes between the Earth and the sun. If the moon is too far away and appears a little smaller in our skies, it can't quite fully cover the solar disk. So we get an annular or a ring of fire eclipse like we had back in October. But if the moon is in the right place in the sky and is big enough to fully block the sun, we get a total solar eclipse. That's what's happening next week. If you're in the path of totality, day will transform into night as the last rays of sunlight disappear. Before totality, there'll be some sort of weird characteristic to the light. It's really tough to describe. It looks a little like an old western style movie, like a, a sepia, like the landscape's brown and kind of weird. And the shadows are much sharper too. You might also notice something called shadow bands on the ground right before and right after totality. It's like a weird interference pattern with ripples of daylight and darkness. We'll talk more about these in the coming days. Then it'll get dark over the course of like 30 seconds. And keep in mind, during a normal sunset, it takes an hour or two to get dark. But this time, it'll happen like this. It's like the universe is on a dimmer. And the cool thing, this eclipse is deeper than the one in 2017, meaning the shadow is wider so more people see it. It's a longer lasting eclipse. The sky will be darker and you'll see more stars as a result. And all around the horizon, on all sides, a 360 degree sunrise or sunset because basically you're looking at twilight everywhere else. You're essentially looking at places where it's still sunny because they're outside the path of totality and outside the moon's shadow. Now, right before totality, you'll see something called Bailey's Beads, the last pinpricks of sunlight shining through the valleys of the moon. They're really cool to see. Then they'll congeal into the so-called diamond ring, that last searing beacon of sunlight. And then totality hits. And only during totality, when the moon is fully blocking the sun, extinguishing all the visible and UV light, can you actually take off your special ISO certified eclipse glasses. During totality, you'll be able to see the corona or the sun's atmosphere. It's 2 million degrees Fahrenheit, way hotter than the surface of the sun, and it glows like the hairs of an angel just radiating outwards into space. And you'll see a bunch of really fine lines. That luminous plasma traces the sun's magnetic field. Loops of magnetism will contort the plasma into dramatic prominences, and you'll be able to spot those with the naked eye. Here's what the company Predictive Science expects this corona to look like. Again, every eclipse has a different corona, so this one should be extra spiky. And like I said, I've been waiting for this for years. I'm bringing all my friends, all my loved ones. Erica, Joseph, and I will be down there anchoring a live stream during totality. Mike will be here in studio. Matt and Jack, our photogs are out there as well. The whole gang and I have been working on this for a long time and we are super excited for what's in the offing. Of course, be sure to check out our live stream beginning one hour before totality. We'll be in San Antonio, Texas where, 
Weather permitting, we should see an out of this world show. Follow My Radar on social media Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Download My Radar on iOS, Android, Amazon Alexa, Xbox, and Windows.